reports of fresh shelling and growing fears of what's being called a nuclear catastrophe perhaps unfolding at Europe's largest nuclear power plant. Of course, we have seen an international response now, a call for calm. How serious is the situation in your view? Look, it's, it really is a bit of, it's a set of known unknowns. Uh, so there are a variety of things that can happen there uh, at Zaporizhia power plants. Uh, you know, uh, certainly the situation, as the IAEA has said, uh, is dangerous, uh, not least because of the fact that, you know, the plant hasn't had uh, proper supervision and proper support now for many months. And so it isn't operating at the absolute highest levels of safety that you'd want from any nuclear facility. So there's simply a risk there of mechanical failure or some unrecognised issue. Uh, secondly, there has been shelling uh, that has occurred repeatedly. Uh, uh, Ukraine blamed that on Russia. Russia has blamed that on Ukraine. Um, uh, you know, but there's always the chance that one either side is deliberately seeking to damage hopefully the nuclear facility, there's always a chance of a shell or a drone or, or, or some other weapon uh, going off course and striking one of these uh, reactors. Um, and there's always the chance as well of a deliberate false flag attack, and that's certainly something President Zelensky mentioned, that he expected Russia to, to mount an attack on the plant and use that to justify aggression. Uh, against Ukraine and try and build sympathy. Now, any and all of these raise uh, a serious risk. While well, the plant has been built different, was and is built differently from Chernobyl, it's much more robust and has much more uh, redundant safety mechanisms. You know, any nuclear facility is is potentially a ticking time bomb, uh, and you know the chances of if plant is cut off from the electricity grid and if the diesel generators uh, which provide the emergency backup power are damaged then absolutely there is the chance for a, for a meltdown in the worst case scenario.